how how are things uh, going right now? You just got back from Florida, back in Eugene, yeah. getting ready for your first uh, season as a pro. Uh, so how are things coming together? Uh, it's coming together good. Um, kind of after coming off of this summer, had like this falls and like pretty chill. Um, and I kind of was reminding myself that I don't have a race for like until end of January, like yeah, back in September and kind of just allowing myself to like completely relax and all of that. But now sort of been sharpening up for a while. And of course this is just an opening race. And uh, I don't think anyone in that field has centered their season around this race, but of course you want to do good at Milrose and now it's kind of getting serious and I'm excited to get back into racing. So to update people, I guess, since they've seen you at, compete at the Olympics, you made the decision to turn pro, um, signed with Nike, announced it in September. When I had the conversation in the podcast episode with Cooper, he said, as of right now, the plan is sticking with Ben Thomas and staying in Eugene uh, through you know, the summer, at least. Is that also similarly your plan? That is, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what all Cooper had mentioned, but yeah, right now I'm a volunteer coach with Oregon and just kind of staying under my current coach, Ben Thomas. Uh, that's kind of the plan. And I think Cooper agreed with that as well. And we're just like, yeah, it's working. Uh, just trying to limit like the variables kind of right now while we're shifting into this being our career. Is it interesting to have to coach people that are a little <laughs> bit older than you? <laughs> I mean, I'm not doing much coaching, <laughs> let's be honest. It's kind of just like a title thing, but yeah. yeah. So in, in terms of the decision to turn pro, um, it was sort of like for a while you were listed on like the Oregon cross country website post Olympics. So I guess take us through August, early September. Like how did this process come about? Yeah. So that was kind of a weird time. And also like, weird amongst teammates not really weird like I knew they'd support me whatever I d decided but I mean heading into a team-based season like cross country um, where I was hoping to be a big contributor on our team like it was I was trying to time everything as well as I could and um, just I mean me Cooper and Charlie were just talking about the other day on how kind of long that process takes of negotiating an offer and turning it into a physical like a real contract that you can sign and date and whatever and so among doing that and then just deciding for myself like that I definitely want to go pro and there's no turning back after that like it was kind of yeah drawn out longer than I had wanted but for good reason there was a lot of considerations and that was kind of the reason for I reported on the same report date as uh, all of like Oregon cross country and I was in Eugene and I was ready to do the season kind of, I was keeping it to myself, but I was in the midst of deciding uh, then and kind of working out kinks and contracts, stuff like that. Yeah. So what put you over the top and, and made you decide to, to go pro? Yeah. Like I said, the, the team aspect um, was definitely a, a part that was pulling me towards Oregon. Mm -hmm. Of course, like I I've made like such good friends here and, everything was just clicking like teammate wise as well as like of course like racing wise um but really what it came down to is I saw my goals and I was on the fence before heading to Tokyo then after Tokyo I kind of proved to myself what kind of an athlete I was and um I don't know if I surprised myself but I had it and I had it like proof right there of where I rank in the world and after that I was kind of like my goals are no longer, I want to be really reaching um, for like far goals within the NCAA. And my goal just laid outside of the NCAA and turning professionals the way to, that I would achieve those. So let's lay out some of these goals. Let's vocalize them. Let's, let's manifest <laughs> them. What are, how, how big picture are we thinking? I mean, placing sixth place and in, uh, in the Olympics, there's only, five places better than that, that I could achieve for, um, in all of my career really. And of course, now my goal is focused on number one. I don't really understand why I would shoot for less than that. Um, of course, 1500 stronger than maybe it's ever been right now and depth wise and, uh, 
everyone's so talented right now, but I see myself right up there and I just want to win everything. <laughs>